Kira is sick with blight too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Storm's giving its all. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Hair like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. I don't need a chaplain telling me the battle. Real battle stock. is arguing Return with you. you need it. A lot of wounds. Are you certain there's What's going on? Required? want to be caught in that sand spiral. Hey! You'll 
pay for this, Outlander. It's been hard. No! Let's see a way to climb this tall neck. Sounds like there are people in trouble. Nora! Hey! Over here! It's you! Me. Nora! Did you assist us with these soldiers? Oh. We're supposed to ignore the fighting the soldiers! That doesn't mean I didn't stop fighting them! I'll I'm not out of this yet! Fine. Fire discipline, Hatakto! Now we have a chance! Right to the challenge! Stop! Watch them! Knock they're doing here. like a cauldron, but it's offline. Seems like it has some kind of ritual importance to the Nox.
stuff for the stash. Getting close to Aether's location. But I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. An ancient god. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Aether be inside? Well, poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh. Regala's forces may seem strong now. But Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh. The warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Life. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come. Be welcome among the records of the Ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Force 10 at the Led by Deborah. 10 claimed the desert. The 10 were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. <laughs> What's this one about? The Ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat. A land too harsh for any to survive. But against all odds, they prevail. So the desert clan does the same. Who must have passed through their territory on the way here? I did. 
They uh, seem a little extreme. They take that as a compliment. Soldiers in a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. See you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of marshals slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now and taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition. But since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Cathala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, 
Now is the time. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav. He will be missed. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Dekka on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Hikaro said you have something for me? A what? If I'm gonna get ether, guess I'll have to play along with Hikaro. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. He'll be faster if I ride a machine.
they could swallow me.
feel this frost down to my bones. Must be Stonecrest. Vitalo should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. Hello. Is that the champion from the East at? I see? Then I've something to share. This valley is infested with regardless rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride. Others they heard along, and some they even strip for parts, especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just look on. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds, but whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... An override with two... I... don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The Bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't going to change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here, talking to you.
What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> you're still healing. I will never heal. Good thing you're on my side. Mm. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs>